0 to the power of 0 is 1. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. Not only do you disagree with me, though, you disagree with the entire combinatorics community. So if you want to convince me that 0 to the power of 0 is not 1, you have to beat up every single mathematician working in combinatorics. And yes, some of them are nerds, but that is a lot of people to take on at the same time. Another opinion on this, though, another take that one may have is uh, through set theory. And this should end the argument right here. I, I don't understand why it doesn't end the argument right here. A function between two sets A and B is just a subset of the Cartesian product of the two sets A and B. Uh, such that for all elements A in A, there exists a unique element B in B, where A, B is in this subset F. That is what a function is, right? We denote the set of functions from A to B as B with an A uh, up in the exponent precisely because, and this even holds for infinite cardinals, the cardinality of the set of functions from A to B is the cardinality of B to the power of the cardinality of A. And so the cardinality of the functions from the empty set to the empty set is the cardinality of the empty set to the cardinality of the empty set. In other words, 0 to the power of 0. And so we can determine this value by determining what the cardinality of the set of functions from the empty set to the empty set is. Well, if we look up here, our a and b, these are both the empty set. The Cartesian product of the empty set is simply the empty set. And so the only subset of the empty set is the empty set itself. Ah, so there's one element, there's one function. Uh, and then you should just check that for all elements of the empty set, well, now we don't even really need to think about this because this is vacuously true. There's no elements in the empty set. So there you go. 0 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. As I already mentioned, every combinatorist, combinatorist, combinatorialist takes 0 to the power of 0 to be equal to 1. So if you like counting things, if you believe in counting things, then you should believe that 0 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. The set theory proof should do it as well because as we all know, the axioms of ZFC theory are the Ten Commandments of uh, the greatest religion there is. And finally, I don't want to hear anything about, oh, yeah, but the limit of functions, limit of functions. Why do the limit of functions control all of this? They don't. It goes, the only thing that it shows you is that functions are wishy-washy, and they cannot be trusted. So... Uh, the arguments that you can cook up functions, you know, where one tends to zero, the other tends to zero, but then, uh, you know, f to the power of g doesn't tend to one, uh, it's, it's wishy-washy, uh, no, no, doesn't hold. Also, basically every single programming language defines zero to the power of zero to be equal to one, so if you're watching this on an electronic device, checkmate. Anyways, if you'd like to express to me how wrong you are about what 0 to the power of 0 is, uh, I would highly encourage you to do it in the comment section below.